the state dump. Exciting.
Oh yeah, it looks like it's the magic time. Nine minutes past nine. Okay, so I guess you should pour yourself a glass of something delicious. Maybe some adult Ribenas or something like that. I've got a spritzer. Okay. I'll see you at the other side of this video. Thank you for joining me at home. We are here in the Goldilocks zone. Uh, the atmosphere is delicious. I'm sure you can breathe it in yourselves. Absolutely lovely. And you have just watched our latest music video there, Goldilocks. Our very own love song to the Goldilocks zone, which as you probably know, is the habitable region around a star where the temperature is just right for life to evolve. It doesn't always mean that life will evolve, of course. There are other prerequisites for life, as it were, but if you get a planet that's too close or too far away, you don't have a chance, man! So, what are we going to do tonight? I don't know. What's on the menu, Spa? Well, last time I had you around my house, well, it was well over a year ago, and some of you might have attended that little soiree. 
So um, that was ages ago, and I, I would like to chat about everything, or nearly everything, we've been doing since then. Bring you all up to date. Uh, I also want to hear from you, people. What have you been up to? Have you been to any music festivals? Uh, have you had any out-of-body experiences? Have you encountered any other extraterrestrial beings on planet Earth? Have you had any crazy dreams? Whatever, what you're drinking, what you're thinking? Yeah, we can have a chat about that as well. Uh, I'm also gonna talk about the future. For example, tomorrow is the future. And that is when this gorgeous comic book is coming out. So we're gonna get pretty excited about that. And we're also gonna get really excited about the Exocosm album tour, which is finally gonna get started next week after numerous reschedulings and such. So um, I'd like to know actually, have any of you got tickets to come and see us in the next few months? Where are you gonna come and see us? All that sort of stuff, I wanna hear about that. We can chat about that too. Let me know in the comments. Actually, for those of you watching on Facebook, I'm gonna try and look at some of your comments, but um, YouTube works better on this uh, little tablet. So as you can see, I'm there I am. So I'm gonna use this mainly. So if you want uh, like front row seats, priority tickets for the chat, I suggest you migrate over to, to YouTube and I would much more likely to see what you're saying there. Anyway, and also, you know, while you're there, you can subscribe if you want, yeah? <laughs> okay, but first, I'm gonna take you back. Back to before humans had even evolved on planet Earth. Prepare yourself for some amazing revelations. This is the illustrated history of Mushroom One.
I'm not drilling the pasta moon. Been the minister for dosing. From a number with the nostril boom. Find the vital information. That we set up in the mushroom spot. It's good to hear from so many of you here. So some of you have seen us uh, recently. Beautiful Days Festival. That was wonderful. Um, also Shambino, which is the small version of Shambhala. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, we have had one. They, they've been our very favorite festivals this year. And we're looking forward, yes, to playing at Balta Festival. So we'll see some of you there by the look of it. Uh, old school rave sounds. He's going to Birkenhead, I believe. And uh, someone asking about bearded theory. I don't know. Tell him to get in touch. I don't know. We could do it, maybe. They need to book us for that first. Um, yeah, and oh, there's some... What else? We're, we're, oh, I'd like to say hello uh, to Wee Freya. Tuning in again. Hello. Hello, uh, all these people. Fran, Peter, Johnny, Justin. The psychedelic fish head poop. <laughs> It is, uh, he's made an interesting observation about the time of year being very good for picking the fungi. So, yeah, wonderful. Uh, Harry's coming to the Trinity Center. So, you know, if you want to join Harry, you can come along to that. That's in uh, Bristol. Wonderful. So, yes, and also, also to all of our European friends out there. We will have a tour announcement coming to you very soon. All of the UK dates, in fact, we might be adding one more UK date, but the rest of them are all out there and all, all announced, and you can find those at hengemusic.com forward slash gigs. But uh, our European friends are going to get their uh, uh, show announcements next week. Uh, some individual shows have already been announced, such as Berlin and Prague, and the tickets are already on sale for those. But anyway, we'll be putting a full schedule out next week, and I can tell you that we will be visiting Belgium, 
Netherlands, Denmark, Germany, and Czechia, and swooping in uh, by France for a very special event, which at the moment is a secret, but it is a rather exciting prospect. Um, so, yeah, I got some mo uh, you sent some questions. I've got some advanced questions, which I wrote down on a piece of paper. So, um, Philip Hutchinson asks, is your stage smile one of happiness, the groove, or planetary domination? Well, I think Philip is reading a lot into my facial expressions. Um, I'm uh, just generally quite a happy person. That's going to take over. Anyway, um, Peter Turner is asking, is the Earth flat? Um, good question. No, it's not. Um, Brad Humble has a philosophical question. Which way is forward, really? Mm, so, he understands there is some concept of relativity going on. Um, ah, Jules Smith, this is a really good question, actually. Uh, would you be able to survive if you were accidentally separated from your plasma globe? Yes, this is a very interesting question. Um, it has actually happened a few times. Uh, once on Venus, I was separate. the body was separated from the orb, and I have to tell you, it was a very serious situation. I ha I've got about maybe about 40 seconds before my life force is extinguished and it cannot be reconnected. So you understand I do have a lot of the cloned bodies on standby and there is, uh, you know, it, I'm not an immortal. I, I just have a sort of indefinite existence as long as nothing terrible happens. Um, yes, and so also another sort of quite a weird question, not the weirdest question I've ever been asked, but Dawn Hobbs wants to know, are you sweet or savoury alien? So, um, I don't know. I mean, if I was to uh, cook the flesh of one of my clones, um, I reckon it would taste savoury. Um, but I'm not going to do that because I'm a vegetarian. So, uh, no, we'll, we'll never know. And... Oh, yes. Okay. Well, I'll come back to some of the other questions on here. But um, Peter John Stone has asked a good question, which is, you played half a dozen new tracks during your firmware update stream. Will these be available on a new album anytime soon? Well, who caught the uh, firmware update stream? Anybody watch that? Yes. Grok, uh, Grok is behind the scenes. He was there. Uh, yes, we played some brand new post exocosm material on that and we have actually been discreetly beavering away uh, recording our next album. It is nearly finished and we are hoping to release it perhaps around this time next year. And it, it is a bit strange actually to have almost finished our next record while exocosm is still so new. But we had a little more time than we anticipated due to everything on planet Earth getting cancelled. So it was an absolute delight to spend that time making exciting new music. Now, we are going to play a clip or a, a piece from the firmware update stream. But we're not going to give you a new piece. We're going to play something from Exocosm. This is a live performance of... New planet. Roll the tape. Firmware update available. Do you wish to proceed? It's going.
Oops. Yes, so that was a little bit of a firmware update, which uh, was broadcast uh, this year, earlier this year. And um, it was quite interesting, actually. Uh, it was fun, very much fun, but there was no audience there. So it, it was a little strange. It's nice to be back in front of real people, have to say that. But we did have a large screen, um, a huge screen, which had the comments coming in, much like this. Um, but, yeah, so I, I, at the very end of that piece that you saw there, a comment came in, which was complimentary of my guitar playing. Um, and then I immediately, and you might have heard it on the, played a massive bomb note in the middle of the ending. So, yes, I, I, I don't know. There's something, something to do with being distracted by the compliment and it, it, showing, it showing me who I really am which is a, a, a bit of a bum note. Um, yeah, so it, 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 was, uh, it was wonderful. It was w we had a lovely time. So uh, anyway, a lot of the reason for streaming tonight is that we have the comic coming out tomorrow, which is really exciting. Um, but we haven't made this comic on our own. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the people we have worked with on this comic. Uh, Eglinton. First of all, Eglinton. Tom Eglinton. Now, he is a wonderful, lovely fella. And he's done stories for 2000 AD. I've got one of his books here, Thistlebone. He wrote this. And I did that with an artist called Simon Davis. This is really highly recommended. This is excellent. Very spooky. Very spooky. And... Um, so w we got together with Tom. Uh, we told him what we'd been up to. He got to know uh, us as, as people, as extraterrestrials. He got to know what we like. We told him ab about our history. Um, and he then transcribed all of this and turned it into the language of comic books. Uh, but also he is, he is actually a rather wonderful artist in his own right. And he is very weird. It does very weird stuff. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, that's one of his. Uh, let, hang on. Got some pretty strange, strange things going on here with his artwork. Um, I love it. I've got, a, I got a special T-shirt with the artwork on. Um, and then the interior of the comic book. Uh, this was done by a fellow called Phil Buckingham. He's known for um, doing things in the heavy metal magazine. And I, I tell you what, it, uh, why don't I give you a little sneak peek of the interior of this? Because obviously it's not out till tomorrow, so this is quite exclusive. Here we go. Can you see that? Do we need to go, go close to the camera? No? So, yes, yeah, some lovely stuff there. And then... Uh, is anyone scared of spiders? Okay, well... There's some spiders in it. I just I thought I should warn you. Because some people are very arachnophobic. So, Phil, done an excellent job there. And also, the front cover, which is a wonderfully action-packed piece, was done by a fellow called Boo Cook. Uh, who also uh, has done a lot of things for 2000 AD. Some of you will be he's quite famous, really, in, in British comics. Uh, we'll show, I'll, sh I'll tell you what, I'll do a magic point and some of his artwork will appear. How about that? Okay. Yes? Okay, so that now you should be seeing some Dr Judge Dredd and maybe some other pieces of cosmic artwork. Yes? Uh, this one's called Space Lad. And then there's this wonderful visage uh, here, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I'll show you another bit of Judge Dredd. Yes, there we go. So, I mean, this is a crack team. Uh, so, I know actually quite a lot of you lovely humans will have pre-ordered this comic book, which means that hopefully the postman or woman uh, will be bringing your copy on the morrow, which is very exciting. 
And those of you who pre-ordered, smart, because you will have a set of these temporary tattoos, which are gorgeous, as you can see. So, I mean, you, they are temporary, but you could maybe you could turn them into real ones. It's up to you. So, um, and here's the thing. I need to point this out. Today is Thursday, okay? So, to qualify for a pre-order, technically, if you order it before midnight tonight, then you, you get the tattoos as well. So, you know, if you haven't done that, maybe you want to do that. Maybe you want to get on Bandcamp or HengeMusic.com. And check those out anyway, that's enough of the sales pitch. So, um, did any of you humans participate in our art exchange scheme in 2019? Well, if you don't know about that, we had another episode one of this comic and we had an, a, an art swap at our gigs and anyone who brought a piece of their own, uh, whatever, their own drawing or a little piece of sculpture or something they've made themselves, they can swap it and get a free uh, piece of uh, cosmic literature there. And uh, this was wonderfully successful and we filled up an online gallery on our website. And um, I t I'd like to tell you actually, we're going to do that again. We're going to be collecting your artworks again and adding them to our website. And we've even printed some artworks of uh, some fan art here in the back of this comic and we're going to collect more and so episode three and four we'll have your artworks in as well so that's open to everyone um, you've got to come to a show to do it or you can actually email there's an email address inside the comic so anyway that's that's just a nice thing we had so much of this artwork from you that uh, we, we thought we got we got to do something with this so we hired a really skilled animator called Anthony Barkworth Knight, who um, he put together this video for our song. I'd like to play you this, and I hope you enjoy it. This is EXO. <laughs>
Oh yeah, wonderful. Oh, and it's it's lovely to hear from Genuit that uh, your art is in the video. That's amazing. Please tell. Uh, do, can you tell us which bit? Um, that's wonderful. Um, I'm glad so many of you have enjoyed that video. It's it's really it's quite fun and fantastical. And who who else have we got here? Let's talk to some people. Uh, m lots of people, beautiful days. Lots of people saw us there. That was fun. Um, are we coming to the Belgium and Netherlands? Yeah, I wonder where. Can't wait. Well, uh, yeah, we're going to Amsterdam and Antwerp for sure. Uh, um, Eindhoven, I think, is on the cards. Uh, look out for the announcement next week. Uh, someone's offering me a Blue plasma ball that the kids don't use. What is a plasma ball? I don't understand what this is. And then, yeah, we got... Where, who else? Oh, look, Luke Sanger's there. Yeah. Nice to see you, Luke. Hope you're still making that banging techno, dude. Hey. Um, yes. So we got some people getting the comic. And it's lovely. It's lovely, really. Uh, how do I... Oh, there's a... Okay, there's quite a rude question about toileting. I probably won't, I won't answer that question, but I do have some other questions. Um, so Barry Pembleton uh, said, what sort of games did you play as a henchling on Agricola? So those of you who don't know, Agricola is my home planet. Um, when I was a little one, I mean, <sighs> what sort of games? Oh, well, there was a lovely game called Spelongoid. Um, which is kind of similar to um, Snap, the card game that you have on on planet Earth. It's like a telepathic version. So uh, you link minds with your partner and then mentally scroll through various symbols, kind of like hieroglyphs. And when you chance upon the same character, you shout, Spelongoid! Like that. And whoever is the first to shout Spelongoid is all clear, as it were. And then whoever uh, is second uh, is the Spelongoid, which is obviously not something you want to be. So um, it's very high stakes. <laughs> very high stakes indeed. Uh, what is your favorite? Dan Thompson is asking, what is your favorite thing about the human species? Well... My personal favorite thing about humans, and I've observed um, since I've been on Earth, is the creativity, the artistic creativity, the uh, capacity for music. Um, there's so many, so much interesting stuff that you come up with, and and it's great, and you ha you have a lot of fun. You've got a great sense of humor too, <laughs> and yes, the, the <laughs> very good at making beverages such as the spritzer. This uh, very garish looking spitza, which I need to drink now. Ah, that's much, much more refreshing. Okay, right now I want to cast my mind back, all the way back to May 2020. No! Spoil! Why, 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 why? Don't bring up the lucky downy times. Well, I tell you what, whilst it was very sad not to be able to get together in person or gather uh, together and play music. One of the more positive side effects of all that isolation time was connecting with you lot like this in the digital realm. And I feel like we have perhaps got to know each other, like we've got to know you a little bit better and maybe you have uh, learned a little bit about us too. Uh, one of my absolute favorites of these digital broadcasts was that um, it, it was uh, a called a Space Cassette TV. Um, they did this interplanetary vision song contest. Don't know if any of, any of you saw that one. So, but I'm going to treat you to a few highlights of this. And the reason for us playing this will be evident soon. So uh, here it is. Some highlights from the Interplanetary Vision Song Contest. Yeah. 
Space Cassette TV presents the Interplanetary Vision Song Contest. So you can see why I like that kind of extreme silliness. Um, but also, um, the Interplanetary Vision Song Contest had a couple of entries from my own bandmates. Uh, so the uh, drummer, as you call it here, the mem membranophone specialist in our band, Nom, he entered for his home planet, Xylanthia, which is in the Sirius star system. And uh, he did a lovely, he was a kind of, uh, I really wasn't aware of how good a crooner he was. So, um, shall we have a little listen to Nom performing in the Interplanetary Vision Song Contest? Yes. Let's. Absolutely adorable, and it's, it sounds like he, it, I think uh, 
did he get high points? I'm not sure. Um, but yes, he. Claire has pointed out he's so romantic. Um, really wonderful. And uh, so, so I won't spoil it and tell you who won or lost. But um, Nom was not the only one of us who entered. And some of you actually have been asking about Brother Goo um, because he recently contracted COVID. Um, and we'll be hearing from Brother Goo a little bit later on, who's going to give us an update on his condition. Um, but before we do that, let's watch Brother Goo performing for his planet Venus um, in the Interplanetary Vision Song Contest of last year. Go for it. So good, lying here in these warm fluids. I've been thinking about those long Venusian nights. They are very long, actually. 79.83 Earth days, to be precise. So there's plenty of time to have a little fun, if you know what I mean. Ha <laughs> ha ha. I may be the last of my species. But that doesn't stop me making little hybrids with you. So why don't we copulate? So why don't we populate? So why don't we copulate? So why don't we populate? So why don't we copulate? So why don't we populate? So why don't we copulate? So why don't we populate? So why don't we copulate? So why don't we populate? 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 Oh, okay. Well, you thought uh, Norm was romantic. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, just a taste of the Interplanetary Vision Song Contest. And the whole thing is there on YouTube. It's still up from when it was streamed live. Uh, that's Space Cassette TV. Type in Space Cassette Interplanetary Vision. In fact, if you just type in Interplanetary Vision as one word, there's nothing else that uses that word. <laughs> Don't know why. And yeah, I mean, hopefully, we perhaps we'll have another contest. And someone's Dr. Nitrogen's musical empire is thinking about perhaps entering, which is good. I, mean, I don't know what planet you will be representing, but yeah, get in touch. Get in touch with Space Cassette. Um, <laughs> Calvin C is asking, "Am I pregnant now?" I don't know. You're gonna have to check. <laughs> You're gonna have to do a test. I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, what about Grok? I don't know. He's he's from planet Earth, and there was already an entrant from planet Earth. So um, I don't know, Grok. Will you en will you enter the? He's behind the scenes. <laughs> he's always behind the scenes. Uh, would you do you think you would enter interplanetary vision? Maybe you've got a maybe from Grok. Okay. Well, we'd like to thank you all for your concern over Brother Goo. And uh, some uh, some people in the comments here have, have said they missed us. Performing uh, this weekend gone, we were due to perform at Audio Farm and celebrate Holton as well. And uh, we're very sorry to not be able to make that, but uh, I think we're going to get a message from Brother Goo, uh, an update from him about his condition. So uh, let's tune into that. <laughs> Oh, well, that's good, and thank you, Brother Goo. We do miss you, 
and we wish you a speedy recovery. Thank you. Uh, so, and yes, um, so we've got a few people saying uh, someone's coming to see us in Portsmouth. That's really great. I mean, everyone, you should really, if you haven't had a little look at our gig list, uh, if you're in the UK, it's very likely we'll be quite near you. Um, some people uh, come to see us in Glasgow, Bristol, Brighton I've seen on here. Um, it's, I, I tell you what, it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be really good. Um, Simon Townsend has uh, made an interesting point here. Says, Hi, Spo. Do you have any more Henge size sessions planned? We loved the one during lockdown earlier this year. So uh, Simon is referring to Henge size 2, which is, um, it was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know. I think maybe we, we might be doing a Henge size uh, another Henge size stream at some point, but and also there is a little bit of chattering in the wind about potentially doing it live, perhaps at a festival. Okay, what well I don't know. Mm. Yeah, that would be a special thing. But um, for those of you who perhaps are new to to Henge, you might not have seen Henge size, which was uh, our exercise dance workout freakout session. And uh, for you, I mean, I think what better than to give you a little highlights video. And again, you can watch the full thing on YouTube uh, if you want at another time. Uh, and you, yeah, and just, why don't you subscribe to, to the thing? That's what, that's what people are doing. I mean, you, you probably subscribe to much worse things. So, um, yeah, subscribe to this. And here's the Henge Size 2 uh, highlights. Go for it. <laughs> Oh yeah, so that was fun. And did you see that I I got miniaturized at one point there, which was um, pretty frightening. <laughs> so there's lots of uh, actually it's just special effects, but um, it's good. I'm okay now. I'm back to my normal size. Uh, so you can see how much that's like totally hype. That's so hype. It's big hype, bear hype, human hype. It's really crazy stuff. So, uh, you know, that's particularly aimed at people who need to do, do a bit of exercise as well. You know, we all need to, everybody needs to exercise. The astronauts, they got their special machines in space and everything. Uh, especially if you're experiencing some zero Gs, then you do need to keep your muscles all working and supple. And, yeah, so, like, wh what else have we done? What else have we done this year? Well, we d we had quite a big uh, crazy adventure, actually. Uh, where we accidentally unleashed a massive killer robot on the world, and then we had to find it and destroy it. So uh, we actually made a little home video while we were doing all this, because we thought, you know, if you're going to have some kind of crazy experience like that, you should really bring a videographer. So, um, yeah, and we put it to music, and this is the music video. So we call this one, Get Out of My House. Roll it. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, well that was quite a day, that was quite an experience, but uh, it was okay in the end, um, but yes, wonderful, well looking back at all of that, uh, it, it was quite a busy year, considering that we didn't have any live shows, um, and we also obviously we uh, released Exocosm, which was our second album, oh that reminds me actually, we had a question earlier, a very good question, someone saying will we be playing music from Attention Earth on the Exocosm tour, uh, and the answer is yes. Yes, we will. We'll, we'll be mixing in a selection of all the stuff, and we'll have we'll even have some of the newer stuff that has sin- been written since Exocosm. So there'll be uh, it'll s- uh, be a selection that spans our entire six years of being on Earth. So uh, that sh- it shall be a wonderful and glorious experience. We look forward to seeing you all there live. Uh, and and that's I think that's it. Uh, thank you all for joining us here, and uh, we've had a lovely time speak, speaking to you and looking at your comments and things like that. And um, we're looking forward to next time we meet in person and have a lovely old time. Okay, goodbye. We love you, humans. Attention, humans! To celebrate the Planet Earth release of their second album, Exocosm. Extraterrestrial Joymongers Henge will conduct a 50-day tour of the UK and Europe. You are invited to witness this unique spectacle as Henge transmits sonic beams of pure 